Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. Uh, finally back with another eBay video uh, showing you guys what I found in my travels to garage sales and yard sales. Um, what I'm going to show you now is I think from two weeks ago. I'm going to come back with another video for what I found this past weekend. But things have finally picked up. I had two pretty good weekends. Um, I just did a video about um, cross stitch kits. I found a lot of those this past weekend. Those are doing really well for me uh, and they were dirt cheap. So happy about that. And I'm going to jump right in here and show you guys the other things that I found. Um, that house that I found the chest set at that's worth about 300 bucks. I haven't sold that yet by the way. I haven't even listed it yet. Um, that guy was having one last moving sale, so since I find good stuff there, I went back. I found two of these Don Ho glasses. He had a lot of Hawaiian stuff at his house. I think he charged me 50 cents or a dollar. Um, yeah, 50 cents a piece, so a dollar total for these. Um, probably make 10 off the set. He also had a tiki head figurine that I don't have up here right now. Um, but it wasn't marked or anything. I have it up now. It ends tonight, but I have no watchers on it. So I'm probably just going to have to roll that over and pop it into the store. But I think it was carved out of lava rock. And I got that for, I think, a dollar. Um, picked up three ties from his house. He charged me a dollar total for all three. So... Not bad for 33 cents a piece. This one's Jerry Garcia. This is Metropolitan Museum of Art. And this one's Christian Dior. And he also had some clothes. So I picked up some men's shirts to sell. This one, Ralph Lauren. Really nice shape. Uh, all these were a dollar a piece. This is an Abercrombie dress shirt for a dollar. And then finally, this was a brand I had never heard of, but I'm glad I did a little research while I was there. This is a brand called Eden, E-D-U-N. It's brand new with the tags. And I found out that um, I can probably sell this on eBay for about $45. So I was really happy about that purchase. Hey, that guy's house always makes me money. I'm kind of sorry he's moving. Um, let's see. Okay, then I went to a big barn sale. They had a ton of stuff, but not a lot of great stuff to buy. But I managed to find a few things. I found this fish pitcher. I paid $5 for it. It's called a gurgle pot. When you put water in it and you pour it out, it gurgles. Um, but there are a few of these on eBay if you buy them brand new I think they're like $35, $40 so I put this guy up for an um, initial bid of $19.99 so we'll see what happens <clears throat> sorry see what happens with him I already have um, one watcher up on him and it went up last night um, the other two things I bought from that sale were two baby dolls I don't buy a lot of dolls um, you know, the doll trend was really more in the late 80s, early 90s, and I also don't know too much about them. But these guys were only $5 a piece, so I figured I would take a chance. Uh, this little one is made by Lee Middleton, and I knew that name. She's a really pretty famous doll designer. Uh, it's dated 1981. So I bought her, and then this one is a German baby doll with glass eyes. Uh, she's marked Grace S. Putnam, and she was made in Germany. Only problem with her is she's she's missing a finger, but she should still probably sell eventually. And I put these guys up last night for I think I might have put them up for $19.99 a piece. So we'll see what happens with them. And also at that sale, they had a box full of Christmas ornaments and they said 25 cents a piece. So I picked out about eight of them. These are the four best ones. There's this Spode ornament, you know, the classic Spode Christmas tree, 
pattern. You can't pass up Spode for 25 cents, especially when it has the original box. And all the other ornaments, except for one, were all, hall were all Hallmark. These are the best ones out of the bunch that I'll show you um, because they have the little cords and they light up. I think Rudolph's nose lights up and this one little soldier goes around. I gotta clean them up because they got like melted candy cane or something on them. And then this is one of the music in motion ones where the, um, or magic in motion, where the little gingerbread men go around the stove. Okay, then there was a sale on a Wednesday, which I don't think I've ever been to a garage sale on a Wednesday, but it was this adorable little boy, probably 10 or 11 years old. He was doing it for charity. And I actually ended up um, doing pretty well there. So I bought this guy. And he's not going to fit in the frame here. Look at that face. He's a big stuffed tiger. Cost me 25 cents. I got him up right now for $9.99 and uh, I have one watcher on him. And I'm sure he'll eventually go like between now and Christmas. Then they had a bunch of clothes and their clothes were dirt cheap. So, um, I got a few of these Under Armour shirts. This one currently has a bid on it for $19.99. But I got all these shirts for I think 50 cents a piece. Under Armour for 50 cents a piece is just crazy. Because you know brand new they're what like, I don't know, $20, $25 a shirt. And I have a couple others that I still have to pop up on eBay. Then I got this really pretty sweater Liz golf brand new with the tags I think I paid a buck for it it has a bid right now $14.99 um, the Under Armour shirt and the sweater end tonight so let's see what happens and this also ends tonight this was my best deal so far from that sale this was in a box marked anything's 25 cents so I think I might have paid 50 cents for this entire outfit. This is a pair of chaps that belt around the child's waist and the matching vest and the matching holster. And they're marked is it John R. Craighead Company? And they're 100% leather. So I couldn't pass that up. So I paid 50 cents. And right now there's 14 or 15 people watching it. And it's up to $33. So I'm curious to see what that uh, sells for tonight. And there goes my phone. Hold on a second. Oh, sorry guys, telemarketers. Drive me crazy. Uh, and let's see, two more things here. I went to a sale where the guy was clearing out inventory from an old stationery store, which is dangerous for me because I love office supplies and paper. And I know, I'm weird. Anyway, I behaved myself. Didn't buy too much, but this... I found for $20, paid a little bit more than I wanted to, tried to get him down on it, but he wouldn't come down on it. Um, this is a cross pen and pencil set. The only thing about this is, is that the pencil is 14 karat gold filled, which it says right here. So I think, think this is the original box for the pencil. The pen is 10 karat gold filled, but... Um, you know, I knew there was some value there. I paid $20, and right now I have an initial bid of $34.99 on these. And there's a few more people uh, watching them, so it might go up a little bit. And finally, my, uh, my little sleeper hit was this box of silverware. And I know there's a few eBay people out there, they swear buy flatware and dish sets and all that. I don't want to ship big dish sets or 
parts of dish sets. I can't stand shipping plates. It just bothers me. I do it, you know, for some items, but I don't want that to be my whole business. So I found this silverware, and this is easy to ship, so I'm fine with this. I initially didn't even buy it to sell. I bought it because there were eight tablespoons and 11 teaspoons in here. And I don't know what my kids do, but I think they eat spoons. I mean, every time I look in the drawer, there's no spoons. So that's why I bought this set. But then I realized that it was marked um, Oneida, or Oneida, however you want to pronounce that. It said Oneida Community on the back. And I searched for the pattern, finally found out what the pattern name was. It's called Satinique. And realized that these pieces sell for maybe four or five dollars each. So this whole box is about 200 bucks. So I split them up into lots like, you know, four teaspoons, four knives, four forks, etc. And just popped them in my store uh, at buy it now prices. I do have some watchers on them already. But eventually this six dollar purchase will probably make me about 200 bucks. Um, the only thing with flatware is, you know, it's not a, a quick selling item. This is something you're going to have to pop into your store, put a buy it now price on, and just wait for it to go. But I was really happy that I found this. And the next weekend, this past weekend, I found another set of um, cheaper flatware with a whole bunch of spoons for a buck. So I bought that. So I uh, fixed my spoon problem and made some money at the same time. So, I think that's it for now. I'm going to come back and show you guys what I got this past weekend. I hope you guys are um, having better luck like I am, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.